Oh, they're sleeping alive. beauty. I am alive. And it just talks about what Jesus did and how we can follow his example by serving others. Oh, getting fancy <laughs> this year. Alright, good morning guys. Happy Sunday. Another day in paradise here. And enter the interrupting cow. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and Evie, it just feels so cute. Hi. A little breakfast applesauce for Evie. Take a bite. Mmm, that's so yummy, huh? Yeah. So April literally slept yesterday from like 3 p.m. to like this morning. Do you need some more attention? <laughs> what? Um, can you set my alarm clock again? I never used it. It should go off every day. Uh, she, uh, uh, I don't know how, and I don't know how. Much. I'll have a look at it. Yeah. So yeah, April literally slept yesterday from like three in the afternoon till this morning, and she woke up briefly for dinner, but. Got something going on, but hopefully with enough sleep, she'll be good to go. Oh, they're sleeping alive. beauty. I am alive. Oh my gosh, I have another cold. I just got over one and I'm getting another one. Honey. But actually, I feel like I might have slept most of it off. Feeling a little I bit. would hope so. You slept 12 <laughs> hours straight. I felt like if I didn't go to sleep, I was going to die. You so should I be just... able to get over the plague in the amount of time you slept. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm, I'm thinking I might just go to Sacramento and then come home and sleep again because I don't want to get sick. That's a good idea. Sleep it off some more. So, we are on our way to Grandma's house as usual, but you can tell I look a little bit disheveled. You look just amazing. It's amazing. I went home and took a nap after the first hour of church and I really needed it. Why am I so tired? So I didn't get much sleep last time. I slept the whole night. <laughs> I have this like, like cloudy head, and I feel like if I slept, then my head wouldn't be so cloudy. You can just get a little more sleep. Maybe you're catching up on the last year of sleep. I feel like maybe yeah. that's what's happening. When you crash, you crash hard. Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. Um. I, I think it's a little head cold. I really want to be better soon, so I'm just sleeping as much as I can. But, um, different from my last head cold. This one's like in my head, not in my nose so much. My head hurts. So, um, but uplifting church related comments. Here we go. So I actually got up and bore my testimony today. It was sacrament meeting was our fast and testimony meeting. And so once a month in our church, we don't have set speakers. The speakers are just anyone that feels like getting up and testifying that they believe in something in the church, something in the doctrine of the church. So we're telling a story about something that helped them to realize True meaning of reverence, serving, time, yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah. So any, like if you have a story to tell about something that strengthened one of your testimony in one of those things like Sage just said. But um, I was chasing Elizabeth up. The kids wanted to sit in the front row. They love sitting in the front row. Mom and Dad don't love sitting in the front row so much because the kids, I'm like, you guys need to be really good if we sit in the front row because everyone can see you. But. The kids were really good today, except for Elizabeth, which she's good because she's a baby. I mean, you can't. You can't say a baby's bad for being oh, a baby. She's the spawn of Satan. <laughs> you're talking about. I she's, spent the whole meeting with her. She's a little jerk. No, really, we love her. <laughs> but she was being good. She just kept climbing up to the stand, and so I got up there. And she, the one time she got up there so fast and cr crawled behind the piano, and I was like. I had to like go all the way up and get her and I was like you know what no one was getting up and it was kind of like this lull and I thought I should just bear my testimony so I went over there and I 
just said whatever was in my mind and I ended up saying I can't even remember everything but just talking about the campaign that is going around the, with the hashtag light the world and how simple it can be to spread goodness. It can be something so simple, it can be something huge or something so simple and I love the examples that it gives you on the Christmas calendar, 25 ways to serve in 25 days and it just talks about what Jesus did and how we can follow his example by serving others and I absolutely love it. Today was Jesus worshiped his father and so can you and so you should go like it gave a few examples of how you can worship and one of them was going to church and so we were able to do that but I think bearing my testimony was also part of that. I wanted to make sure that I was doing the things on the calendar as much as I could so it was really good though and so yeah I want you guys to check those out again just keep out keep going we're on day five right four. four day four but when you see this day five so what do you want to say babe because you kind of were in the hall the whole time well my lesson in class was on we talked about faith and um, we talked about we read some scriptures that were it says that God gave men weaknesses. He gave them to us. He gave us weaknesses. Thanks for that. God. And thank you. so <laughs> we could learn to be humble because if we were just awesome, perfect at everything, the only person that was awesome, perfect at everything was Jesus. He was humble. But we needed to be weak and have weaknesses to overcome them. It makes us humble when we're weak and we need to overcome them and he helps us become make them strengths so he gave that to us it's all part of the plan the weak trials we go through strong. the weak things are made strong he did that for us rather than just making us all strong all the time all perfect at everything then we wouldn't we need to know the bad stuff to feel the good stuff i totally we agree both first yes everything so if you're going through a hard time try to make it your strength try to lean on and I think that the way you do that is leaning on God is throwing your burdens on casting your burdens upon the Lord and praying and, and exercising exercising that faith, faith. the faith to move mountains it and reminds me of I always say like the antidote to fear is faith too I love that quote too yeah. anyway back to the goodness of relaxing on Sunday oh by the way I'm gonna be rocking these Christmas jammies all day long. Wearing ugly sweater number two. I should have just worn this to church. It's got like a fake tie, fake tie. knitted into it. Maybe it's next week nice. you can wear it to church. Oh, looks like to do. Oh. getting fancy Mama, this year. Well, this these are pre made kits. And then I tried to make my own. Oh, we forgot candy. That's okay. We Just bring candy. candy? We got plenty. Nobody told me. I got plenty. You didn't get the memo? Oh, And my I pre-made some more. houses. houses. Whoa, this one struggled. fancy. I don't know. Which one of the grandkids did that one? <laughs> I, I, did, I did that. Homemade, it I kept see? falling, kept falling. I go, eh, and I just stuck it Grandma, up. Grandma, is that, are you going to do your uh, ice cream? That one's EB's right here. Oh, you do it. Right. Yeah, Grandma. right here. Um, are you going to make your homemade ice cream? Oh, the I see. She made it. Right here. Oh. I already are. It's all pre-bagged. You just give oh, yeah. a high chair for her. Yeah. Say it as the house comes. Is it going to stand? The wise man built his house upon the tinkle. Aluminum foil, right? <laughs> Ambry, I think you got enough frosting on there looking good. Daisy's focused hard. He's on pulling apart. Focus, Daisy. No! Oh, Zaid. Dang it. Ender, let me see your hands. What have you been doing? Um, Benny, do This one? Yeah, the scissors? Yeah. Good job. Let me not throw it out. How come there's so much frosting on your hands and your shirt? It's because I want to be a hot dog. Because of what? It's because I want to be a hot dog. But that's a lot of frosting on your hands. They're completely crusted over. Let's go wash them. Come on. <laughs> Where are you going with that? It's locked. Come look at my. my. Is this yours, Sierra? Mm -hmm. 
That's Mommy, amazing. Look. Mommy, look. Oh, wow, Amber I like the hot fit. Andrew, wow, look at yours. I know. Still and a lot of candy left. What is that? Eat it. I'm not going to eat it. You Mommy, eat it. Look at my Wow. I feel like deja vu, you like I've seen it. this before. You eat it. Okay, I'll eat it. Mmm. No, this. I don't want to eat it. You eat it like that. No. Oh. You eat it like that. Oh, you eat it like that. Oh, you eat it like that. Oh, oh, Sierra's over here taking pictures of her house. Each year, okay, stand up. as the members of the angry mob grew stronger and more accurate, we had to remind them forcefully that Samuel could not be hit. Henry, <laughs> time to go. No. No. That's the Orgel family singers and cloggers dress, you know that? We used to perform Daddy, in dresses Daddy. like that. Not me, Daddy, the girls. We're leaving in 10 minutes and you guys. Yeah, everybody's leaving. Let's go, I'm Amber. Sometimes I like to just sit in here and stare at the pretty tree. Sometimes I like to sit in here and stare at her staring at the pretty tree. Got any final words? We need to get you in bed. You didn't get much sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> Only 16 hours. <laughs> I think I should go to bed actually. I feel tired. Okay guys. Thank you for watching the vlog. We appreciate you. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas.